Welcome everybody. This week we're looking at Palm Sunday or Dominica in Ramis Palmarum. When our Lord Duchito led an ass and a cult to oh the an ass and a cult is led to Jesus. So Duchito is led asina et pulus ad Jesu. Okay. So in this picture, we've got three pictures today. In the web page over here, I've just got the last picture with the actual palm branches. But as you're watching the video, you get the extra. Um, yeah, you can always find these in the little book. Um, there's links on the web page. So go to kidschant.com and all the links should be there. So the first one shows the ass, the um I guess, is there another word for ass? The donkey and the cult being led to Jesus. The apostles all look a bit worried and they're heading off the road to Jerusalem through the mountains. So okay, so let's go to the next picture. So the title up the top says... Ar dem Dominica, which means the same Sunday. So these um, pictures come one after the other. In conspectu herus Jerusalem venit Jesus. In the sight of um, Jesus comes into the sight of Jerusalem. Says so the big city of Jerusalem with the the fortified walls and lots of people in there. And there's the shorter sentence in the Bible. Um, this is actually not it. it. This one says flet super Jerusalem. In the Bible, it just says, Jesus wept. So here you can see a man climbing up a palm tree to cut down branches. Ramos is branches. And you can see Jerusalem with the, the um, fortified walls all around. And people, this, this looks so much like a religious procession, doesn't it? It always sounds like it would have been a bit more, um, a bit more jubilant. I mean, people ask them to, to shut up and stuff. So, And you've got children involved. Um, and you can see people putting their garments down um, as a to make a path for Jesus to, to walk on or to be carried over. Um, but you've got the olive branches as well amongst the palm branches. Yeah, very stylized palm branches. They look more like the martyr's palms, which I guess is appropriate. So here are Solima. Um, oh, the, you've got C is Hortus Gethsemane, the Garden of Gethsemane. And there's the River Kedron, I think. I see C is, is over there, a fence. Anyway, you can spend a lot of time looking through these pictures. There's a link to them. So even though I haven't uploaded all the pictures, if you go down here, Images of the Evangelical Gospels will take you to the book on um, the Internet Archive. This is page 87. So it's plates 85, 86, 87, which refer to Palm Sunday, or well, refer to this gospel reading. Because, of course, the, the main gospel on Palm Sunday for the main mass is the Passion of our Lord Jesus according to Matthew, which is really long. And me being a chicken, I've gone for the much shorter gospel for the ceremony before mass at the Blessing of Palms. So here we go. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay. In illo tempore, cum appropriam quasit Jesus Jerusalemis, at Venisit Bethphage ad Montem Oliveti. So it's just saying where he's coming from. So he's approaching Jerusalem and comes to Bethphage to the Mount of Olives. Tunc misit duos discipulos. He sends misit du to duos discipulos suos, his. Dicens eis, saying to them, Ite in castellum. So go to the, it sounds like castle, doesn't it? It's translated as village. Maybe it was a fortified village. I don't know. Ite in castellum, quod contra vos est, which is across from us, et statim in venietis asinam alligatum, then you'll see an ass tied up, et pulum cum ea, and the colt with her. Solvite, now solvite, we usually talk about solving, so, um, or, or solutions when you're dissolving stuff in water, but it means to untie, um, yeah, release, yeah, dissolve. So you can you can talk about dissolving knots instead of just untying knots. Anyway, solvite, ediducite mihi, and lead to me. So you got to lead the asinam and the pulum to me, mihi. Et si quis vobis, aliquid dixeret. And as he said to them, um, dicite, 
quia dominus. Oh, and then say, if they ask you, say, quia dominus his opus habet, that the Lord has need of it. Um, quia dominus his quia opus habet. I think his is the plural, so the, the Lord has need of them. Et confestim dimitet eos, and they will um, dimitet, they will send them immediately, or release them immediately. Hoc autum, autem totum factum est. And it was all totally as he said. Ut ad impleretur quod dictum. Oh, that's quod dictum, what, as he said. Est per prophetum. Um, so through the prophets, dicentum, to prove what was said by the prophets. Dicite filiae Sion. Say to the daughter of Sion, Ecce rex tuus. Behold your king, venit tibi mansuetus. He comes to you, humble. I looked that up on Wiktionary. It was one who has been tamed. Sed in super asinum, sitting on an ass, et pulum, a colt, filium subjugalis, the son of her that is used to the yoke. So subjugalis, that tiny little word, means her, of her that is used to the yoke. So that's that's an extreme example of how compact Latin can be sometimes. And that's where we get subjugated too. So yuga is to do with the yoke. And yeah, so when you're subjugated, you're under the yoke of someone else. Yeah. Aiuntes autum discipuli fecerunt secret precepit ilis Jesus. So going, therefore the disciples, they did as Jesus had commanded them, pre the precepts of the commands. Et duxerunt asinum, and led the asinum at pulum, et imposuerunt super eos vestimenta sua, and they put on them, um, the, the donkeys, their vestments, vestments, garments, clothes, et eum de super sedere fecerunt, and made him sit on it. So we've got two on sort of words, super and de super. So they're both to do with being on. So super is over or, yeah, upon. Sedere is to sit, ficerunt. They did. They made him? They made him to sit. Pluruma autum turba straverunt vestimenta sua, in via. So turba is the crowd. Pluruma is a great, um, it sounds, well, when we say plural, it means many, doesn't it? So you've got singular and plural. So lots of crowd. Straverunt, so this is where we get strew, so you can, straverunt, what's the translation they got here? Spread their garments, straverunt vestimenta sua in via, in the way. Ali autum cedebant ramos de aboribus, so they cast down ramos, branches of the trees, et stenebant in via, stenebant, and strewed them in the way. Okay, so <laughs> Straverunt is the spread, and sternebant is the strewed. Turbe autum, the crowd therefore, quae precedebant, et quae sequebant or clamabant, dicentes. So, quae precedant, and the multitudes that went before, oh, okay, precedant, praise before, cedebant, et quae sequebant or, and the ones that followed, so, do we see that, that in the picture, that there's crowds before and after? Yeah, Jesus is in the middle. Okay. Clamabant dicentes, and this is the famous bit, Hosanna filio David, David, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna filio David, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, Rex Israel. Hosanna in excelsis. I don't think I got, quite got that right, but there's lots of fantastic music as we get into Holy Week. And yeah, I've got it easy this, this year. I think I'm only officially singing for Easter Sunday. Um, but yeah, looking ahead at these gospel readings, there's lots of bits which we have Gregorian chant for. Okay, so the next one is the printables. And I have that as a four-page little booklet here. You can also, it's made to be printed out as a two-up sort of booklet. So I've got this PDF here 
um, where it, it puts every second page upside down. So um, I'm not sure if you can quite get the hang of that. But it yeah, so if you're using Adobe Acrobat, there's a booklet printing option. So you'll have a cover with the picture on it, and then the next inside page will be the reading in Latin on one side and English on the other. And then up opposite that, you can have the crossword puzzle, so you can actually look through for those words. So I think we probably mentioned all those words in what I've just said. And there's the tracing thing, and there's the little answers down the bottom. Okay, so you're all set. You've got stuff to read through at your leisure, a crossword puzzle to have fun with, and you've got Palm Sunday to enjoy. So yeah, I hope your Palm Sunday is really awesome and you don't have nearly as much rain as we're having here at the moment. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Is there anything else I was going to say? I don't think so. Okay, God bless. Bye. Um, in case anyone's wondering, I live in Australia, in New South Wales, and at the moment we've got a whole lot of flooding situations all over the place, so it, it's been a bit exciting. That's why I'm in the new location, because we've got a damp guinea pig in the, the room where I usually make these recordings. Um, yes, we've got some semi- or fairly feral guinea pigs, and we've managed to catch one to keep out of the way of the... <laughs> There's so much water, it's been a whole week non-stop rain. It is madness. And this after, like a couple of years ago, when there was so much dryness.